Today is day 18 of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'm attempting the world's hottest chocolate bar challenge. This tiny thing is 9 million Scoville, which puts it on par with the toe of Satan lollipop and the nitro gummy. On the back it says, this 12 piece chocolate bar is extremely spicy and is not to be consumed by those sensitive to spicy foods or anyone with any existing heart or respiratory conditions. And to help combat the heat, I will be trying lemonade since I've been seeing that suggestion a lot. I say this every single time, but I am nervous to try this. It's been almost over a month since I've done my last spicy challenge. So what if my spice tolerance has gone down? It probably has. I've watched other videos where people will cut off a little piece of it. I'm just gonna go for the whole thing. I'm gonna do a five minute timer afterwards for the afterburn. I'm not gonna drink or eat anything. So in my last few like spice tolerance videos, people are asking like, why I'm using chopsticks? And it's like, if you touch the chocolate and you accidentally touch your face or your eyes, I mean, that's not gonna be a good experience, right? So that's why I'm using chopsticks, so I can just not even deal with all that. Oh yeah, that's spicy. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a spicy challenge that I'm like really nervous right now. It does smell very similar to the last one I did. I just wanna say if I don't make it out of this alive that my roommate gets my secret ramen stash, I'm sure she'll appreciate that. And please let her know she's not at home right now, so please let her know. Okay, that's hot. Um, I think it's gonna creep on some more. Yep, it's creeping up. To me, this is similar to the one chip challenge, but for the one chip challenge, I remember it being a little bit harder to talk, but this is kicking in. We're now a minute in. My mouth is burning, my eyes are watering. I can feel most of the heat at the roof of my tongue where most of the chocolate melted. I'm hoping a head rush comes in to distract me from the heat of this because it is getting very spicy. I got all of this McDonald's and I'm gonna see if it's spicy enough for me. This is what a spicy McChub is. You split the double cheeseburger, flip the patty. Mm. A little bit of ranch. Overall, it was not that spicy. As some of you remember, I said I would do this spicy noodle challenge if Thai Orchid's employees would try it. It's basically putting four ounces of these Thai chili flakes in cup noodles and eating the whole thing. And out of the two people that try it, they both have only gotten two bites in. So I've come up with a strategy and I have no idea if it'll work. I will do a four day series where I try spicy foods to try to build up my spice tolerance. Today is day one and I will be eating jalapeno cream cheese Takis. But I will be including the insides of the jalapeno and the cream cheese along with truff sauce, their hotter version. I mixed everything together and put it into a sandwich bag so I could fill the jalapeno easier. I filled each jalapeno and was able to fit three Takis in each one. Not bad. I'm just going to try to eat through these quickly so it doesn't really get to me. Number two. Three. Julie is starting to burn right now. Four. That concludes the first day. I've got three days to go before the cup noodle challenge. If you guys have any suggestions for things to eat for me to build up my spice tolerance, comment. All right, guys, so I'm new to this. I don't Ooh, know talkies. why I didn't have audio, so I'm going to do a voiceover. He's got Takis. I've got haunted ghost pepper chips. think I know which one's probably hotter. Didn't have Valentine's, so I went ahead and used some Reaper sauce. Topped the Reaper sauce off with some scorpion sauce. Carolina Reaper. I didn't have any dried tomatoes. And also, I, I didn't have, you know, I didn't cut the video or anything like that. So, um, not going to be able to finish chewing and all that like he does. BLKY. I didn't have any water, so I used the soda. Man, I hope one day I can get famous for this. Make me famous, <sighs> Luke. No reaction. Trying all five heat levels from Crimson Coward. Level one, this is country, basically no spice. Easy, let's go. 
Tastes like a dino nugget, not spicy, just peppery. Level two, mild. A little bit more colorful. The heat is building with this one with a little bit of sauce, it's great. Level three, medium. This is when the color kicks in. Not bad, but the heat creeps in towards the middle and end. Level four, hot. Spicy but bearable. Level five, burn baby burn. Ooh, it's dark. Oh, the last one is really, really spicy. I'm I ordered everything on a Chipotle burrito and I'm gonna see if their hot sauce is spicy enough for me. Oh my, oh, so big. Look at my head and look at that. Look at my hand. It's the biggest burrito I've ever seen. All right, let's try it. Got pinto beans, got black beans, got both rices, chicken, steak, queso, guacamole. That went in my nose. If it wasn't already sloppy, I gotta add a little bit of ranch. Overall, it was not that spicy. So these chili flakes will probably be the death of me. Today I went to grab some lunch at one of my favorite Thai restaurants and the owners asked me if I wanted to participate in their new spicy noodle challenge. I was like, uh, maybe? Apparently the challenge is to add four ounces of Thai chili flakes that they make in-house to a cup of instant noodles. They said it's so spicy that they're going to have to pay their employees to even try the challenge for a video. I said I would do it as soon as I see those employees make it out the other side okay. So good luck to those employees. I'll be watching to make sure you're alive and well. Today I'm re-attempting my day one of trying to build my spice tolerance. I had jalapenos filled with spicy cream cheese and Takis. This time I'm just going to put the cream cheese on the outside of the jalapenos. That way I make sure I eat the whole pepper. I mix some whipped cream cheese and trough hotter sauce and then I just spread it around the jalapeno. Then I stuck four Takis to each one. Mmm, that's good. Honestly, this is like just a really good snack. It has absolutely no heat to it. To increase the difficulty, I decided to use habaneros, which can range from 100,000 to 350,000 Scoville compared to the 8,000 Scoville jalapeno. So the habanero definitely has the pepper burn on it, but it's not unbearable. It's just taste-wise, the habanero eating it fresh like this is not that good in my opinion.
Blech. I'm not gonna lie, the habanero was spicier than I expected it to be, but I have to admit this was a fun test to figure out that the jalapenos don't affect me anymore, but the habaneros do. I'm in a good mood, turn this shit up! <laughs> Damn. So retro. Bro, like I'm dead, you killed me, I'm dead now. <laughs> Boom. Bitch, I'm a ghost. I could go on for days and days, yeah, I do the most. Wait, 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 whoa. I do not know. I do not know. I told her to get off, finding my. Today I'm re-attempting the one chip challenge to see if it's as spicy as I remember it. I just need to chew and swallow it and not drink or eat anything for 5 minutes. And I'm a bit skeptical about using gum to combat the heat, but some of y'all have commented it so here we go. So I'm currently on the road so I'm in a hotel room right now and I decided I would just do this one chip challenge. I was packing up for the trip and I thought why not? What if I feel like doing it and today I feel like doing it? I last did this back in January so I'm going to see how it tastes now. Cheers. I forgot a timer. Well, it's still spicy. Is it as spicy as I remember it? I don't think so. I remember the first time I did it, I got on the outside of my lips, so it was burning. But this time, it's mainly just on the tongue. So there's still a little bit of burning on my tongue, but it's already died down at this point, which means that my spice tolerance is building. It's already on the decline, guys, by the way. I, I remembered the word, it's a decline. Yeah, so the heat is basically gone at this point. Doing gum. Mm -mm. Not a good idea, but I'll, I'll weather it out here. Alrighty, whoever suggested gum, I think you're trying to kill me. It's like bringing back the spices from my mouth and it's making my mouth burn, so. I'm gonna say this is a no, but thank you for the suggestion. That was re-attempting the one chip challenge. It was not as spicy as the first time, so I will take that as a win. My next spicy challenge is day 19, and I will be doing spicy noodles that I got from Ihani Eats, so bye. Nine million Scoville heat units. Mad Dog 357 Plutonium, number nine. This is what everybody's been waiting for. Um, thank you, Emily Allen, for sending this to me. I love your videos. Good luck with this one. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'll probably need it. All right. It says on the box, heat level extreme. I would hope so. 9 million Scoville heat units. All right, here it is, plutonium. You guys just watch me open it. Uh, it says, warning, do not consume directly, food additive only. You got it, Puma, um, 300,000 and 400,000 Scoville heat units. I'm shaking like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's spicy. <laughs> um, <sighs> make sure you drop me a follow for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm speechless, man. Uh, thank you, Emily, 
a lot of people have been asking for this and uh, I'm glad I finally got to do it for you guys. Um, I'm turning pretty red. Uh, really quick, whoever sent the source to me again, we had a previous conversation in the DMs. Please message me again. I completely cannot, I just can't find it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm probably sitting at a seven right now. Uh, extremely hot. So share this with all your friends who like spicy stuff. Uh, shoot, you know what? Even tag Spice King, maybe. Uh, Luke did that. Uh, Jumbo Spice or Jumbo, whatever the heck it is. And uh, tell them that you want to see them open it and try it with no cuts. So... There it is, 9 million plutonium. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Let's try a lemon with all of this inside of it. I'm Jake. And I'm Tori. And this is Let's Try Shit. All right, all right go. I'm going to start with the hot honey. Next, we're going to go with the scorpion pepper Tabasco. Ah, I just cramped my hand. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're going to go with Elijah's scorching hot sauce okay oh you just <gasps> fucked yourself you fucked yourself can you please just take some of it please i can't do that uh next we're gonna go with hellfire hot sauce or the reaper i guess what are you thinking bro go go oh God. the bomb hot sauce beyond insanity oh my god <laughs> guys i'll, I'll be extra <laughs> of it yeah. all right and then lastly satan's blood you're not dumping mine I'm literally adding it. Okay, okay. You're done. You guys ready? Come on, babe. <laughs> Cheers. Let's go, guys. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> uh. Uh. Guys, please make sure to like, follow, and comment. Uh. And we'll see you guys in the next one.